Darius Cooks has been in New Orleans for the last couple of days and he has the residence feathers ruffled, okay? Even one restaurant took to their social media platform to write this. Before y'all stress yourselves out, do us all a favor and leave whatever lame a double scribble shenanigans this man about to be on on red. This man was here only two hours, already popping ish. Don't go for the bait, y'all. I appreciate all the tags, but not interested respectfully. People had been tagging him and Darius had actually planned on visiting the restaurant. It looks like he said that they were number 11 on his list. But he noted he does not go to places where he is not wanted, so he won't be visiting there. Apparently, they didn't need his review anyway because they are already doing well. If you're wondering why the people are so upset, he had been posting pictures of food and just leaving it open for interpretation. But for those who follow Darius, I can understand why it was taken the way that it was taken. You just have to watch Darius to kind of know. Although he does not say anything, he kind of leaves it open and end it for the people well everything kind of went left he even got the attention of some name names that are from new orleans that was telling him nah you just going to the wrong places well check out this clip just check out this clip hey, what's up, I'll, tell I'll tell you when i'm on a plane what restaurants i went to i'll tell you what i think oh white um so, so sorry the indica is still gonna be from last night some of the places that I went to, it's so interesting, right? You go to like black owned restaurants and this is like a, more of a generalization. So I'm not going to say it's everyone, but it's generally true. And the black owned people be like, oh my God, what's this? Oh my God, what's going on? What is, you know, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. You know, it'd be so defensive. And then, um, and then you go to, um, you know, the white owned places and like, oh, what's that? I said, it's a camera. Oh, how cool. Are you recording? I'm like, I am. Oh, lovely. This is going to be great. You're going to have a good time. Enjoy your meal. What? You know, there you go. Can I, do you mind if I just get a little bit of footage of the bar and stuff? I won't get anybody's face in the bar. Of course. Whatever you got to do. Let me take you to the other room. Let me show you the other room. I went to some restaurant yesterday. She was like, oh, let me show you this room and I'll show you this room. And you can look at this dining room. I was like, you know what? This is so nice. Certain places you go to, you know, they just real, they real open and, you know, you can kind of do whatever. They don't really care. And in some places you go to the black owned restaurants, girls like pulling teeth. Girl, you got a meat and two sides. Okay. You ain't even got nothing all that amazing. And then you want to be upset with me because I want to roll this camera around here. I don't understand why we can't roll this camera child through this little restaurant like that. So I've noticed this is just a dichotomy. There's a difference that exists. And I went to some really nice places. And most of the places that I went to that are nice places, the people were like, yeah, go ahead, record. We'd love to have you. We'd love to have you record. Go ahead and record. We'd love to see it. We, we're glad you're here. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh. Um, which is why I can't wait to show y'all um, what you call it. So no, I just noticed that as a, as a little difference between the two uh, types of restaurants. But, you know, everyone talks about the cuisine in New Orleans. And... Um, I found some good spots and some not so good ones. <laughs> and uh, what you, what I love about this particular trip is my buddy was here, Pastor Michael Henderson was here. So he joined me one day, we went to three restaurants together. He and I went to all three. So he's on three of the reviews, giving his feedback and stuff like that. So it's not just me, but it's, you know, it's both of us, you know, sitting down, having a good time and just catching up and, you know, doing what friends do. So. I'm excited for you guys to see the reviews once the reviews, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, don't wait and post when you leave because New Orleans is going to get on that. Why would New Orleans get on my ass and you don't even know what I think? That's what I think is so funny. I think it's so interesting, New Orleans. That's why I called you crab, <laughs> crab babies right there. You have no idea what I thought. And then when you find out where I went and you realize it's not where you normally go, it's going to be a whole other ball game, right? Because I think what y'all think, I think what y'all be thinking is like, okay, Darius is going to go to the uh, places where the black people go, right? Because obviously I got a lot of black people that follow me. When you find out where I went, you're going to be like, we, we don't go there. Of course you don't. <laughs> but here's why you should. And so this is the other thing. That's why I like finding, I don't be wanting y'all help to find stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys that keep asking me um, who I was kissing in the club the other night. First of all, I'm drawing a clear boundary here. 
um, that was in a drunken stupor that was the days ago and it's over with. So with that being said, we could, um, we can nix that. You can stop asking cause I'm not going to respond to you on that. Okay. Um, uh, you're in the French quarter. We definitely don't go there. You already know this is about to be good. <laughs> you know, what's funny. The restaurants I went to are not in the French quarter pudding. I, I, some of the restaurants I went to are not in the French Quarter at all, okay? So while you swear up and down, you think you know where I was, you don't. And I purposefully chose restaurants not in the French Quarter so I can shut that down. I purposefully did that. I purposefully said, I'm going to go to some tourist spots, but the ones I'm going to go, baby, I posted those to keep you going, honey. I didn't go to Deanie's. What am I going to review Deanie's for? Baby, you think I was at Deanie's and I wasn't. Okay. You think I was at wherever else I tagged. I don't even know where I tagged. You think I was there. See, my job is to keep you engaged. Hook, line, and sinker every single time. It goes without fail. My job is to literally keep you engaged. I have you so engaged that you think I went to restaurants in the French Quarter only and just reviewed tourist spots. I do my job and I do my job well, right? I know you're going to be in your feelings. I know you're all this about your stuff. Yeah. You don't know where you are because you're in the French Quarter. Sis, I'm not going to tell you where I was. But if I have to get in an Uber and drive 25 minutes in an Uber, I am no longer in the French Quarter. If I have to get in an Uber and drive 30 minutes outside from downtown off of I-10, guess why I am no longer in the French Quarter? Again, my dear, I tell you, you think you know where I have gone. Honey, my job is to keep you engaged. I'm a Capricorn, honey. I will play you like a fiddle in the key of C sharp every single time. And you gullible people, you fall for it every single time. I play on your top and you accept it every single time. Every single time. <laughs> I ain't said a word, but I done said everything. You think you know where I've been and you have no idea. Do you honestly think I'm going to come to New Orleans and review only restaurants and tourist spots when I am an expert traveler and I don't even like hanging out at the tourist spots? Is that what you think? Oh. Oh, you think I went to tourist spots only? Oh, is that what you think? Oh, good. Keep falling for it. I'm I get every single time, every video I go to. And then the other gag is, I'll tell you what other, the other thing that gags me is that uh, uh, I go to play, I find places in your city. We, I never heard of that place. I know you haven't. And that's why it's a five out of five. There's one place on the list that I, I promise you, I went up and down my comment section. Not one person told me to go there. It was my, it's my new favorite restaurant and it's right here in New Orleans and it's not in the French Quarter. Hands down, it's my new favorite restaurant. Hands down. And it's not in the French Quarter and nobody mentioned it. Like I tried to tell you before, I will always discover the hotspots. You are no longer in New Orleans if you drive 30 minutes out. You think you know everything, don't you? Did you account for traffic on I-10? Huh? Did you account? Every restaurant I went to, I didn't go to Gretna. I didn't go to Kenner. Um, I, I did not go outside. I, I promise you, I didn't go to Metairie. I did not go outside of New Orleans. I stayed in New Orleans. What about traffic putting? If I'm in a car for 30 minutes, I didn't say I was driving for 30 minutes. It took us 30 minutes to get there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now what? Post it while you're here, then don't wait and leave. No, baby. You play by my rules. I don't play by yours. You're following me. I'm not following you. My job is to keep you engaged. You're on the edge of your seat wondering where I've gone. You're on the edge of your seat waiting to hear what I have to say. Why would I shoot my wad that fast and spoil it 
for everybody just for the sake of you. You will get it tomorrow like you have gotten it every week when I was doing Dining with Darius Cooks. Ain't nothing changing. Now, I don't know if you knew around here, but if you if you are, then you should understand how we do things. And that's how it's always been done. And that's how it will always be done. And the reason I do it is because it drives you up a wall. You can't even sit in the seat of the scornful and be patient. You have to know right now, as if you're getting up right now, going to visit every single restaurant I've gone to, I understand how this works. Your curiosity is such that it won't even let you get off of this live stream. You don't even like me. You hate me. But you have to sit back and watch and see what I have to say. That's called a, you a confused fan, baby. That's how this works. And I know how to harness that energy into cash every single time. So I string you along and you will have to wait like everybody else. And once you find out, then your bubble is going to be busted because you think that I thought that all the restaurants here are horrible. And when you find out what I really think and you find out my real opinion, you're going to sh you're going to shit. I'm just telling you that right now. I know what I'm doing and I do it well. All weekend long, you've been tuned into this page all week. You've been tuned in. Where he going? Where he eating? What's next? Why he post this? Where he at? That's a white tablecloth, baby. I know how you work. I am keen to how you work. You on level four? Baby, I'm four steps ahead on level eight, going to level nine. We could do this all day long. This ain't the first time and it won't be the last. I have not lasted this long on social media, not understanding how to play the game. Don't hate me, baby. Hate the game. You just mad because I perfected it. Now stop me when I'm lied. When I've lied. Stop me when I've lied. I, I beg of you. Stop me when I've lied. Not one time have I. It's tough, ain't it? I know. Post it right now. Don't wait till you leave. That's what you want me to do, don't you? You want me to post it right now. You want to know exactly where I've gone. You've got 24 hours. That's when you'll find out. <laughs> Baby, they get in their feelings every time. And now you wonder why I call them crybabies.